Hello, welcome to a Dr. Pi video. Hello, so this evening we're unwrapping some components that I've received. If you've been uh, following all my videos, you'll know I've been ordering some bits and pieces. My aim is to gradually go into the dark world of building your own CNC machine. Obviously, three axis. I've previously built a kind of one and a half or two axis, very, very shoddily built cross cut saw just to prove my code. Uh, I was really happy with the code, but obviously the quality of the build of the hardware left something to be desired. This time I'm actually ordering a few components which are bona fide 3D printing components as such rather than CNC milling machine to be honest but um, yeah, for the sake of a prototype it, this as you can see I'm unwrapping it now is actually a lead screw and um, guide mechanism shaft whatever you want to call it and a coupler for a NEMA 17 motor with a 5mm shaft which you can see in the foreground just to the left of the screwdriver. So this will be, in terms of the CNC machine, this will be what moves the bed. So it's all on a very, very small scale. But if you imagine um, a scale model of a CNC machine, that's what this is going to be really. Um, Use the uh, light adjustment, it was a bit sunny earlier. So, I've just realised that they didn't send any screws, which is annoying. So I paid 13 quid and I still can't actually assemble it. So I'll be going on eBay and ordering some M3, M4, M5 nuts and bolts as well. Brilliant. Never mind. So, just uh, I'm just wondering what to do next here. So there we go. The Adafruit motor hat. This is the second hat, identical to the first one, which you've seen working with my camera slider. Um, my second one, as you can see, is in kit form, and I've just ordered a solder station which when that arrives I'll be assembling it I don't really want to bodge that the lead screw that's got quite a good pitch on that thread so it will move it quite significantly for each turn um, yeah looking forward to hooking that up to the NEMA 17 stepper motor which will be via this coupler with 8mm diameter on this side for the threaded bar and 5mm on the other side to attach to the 5mm shaft on the motor, the stepper motor. There you go, 5mm, 8mm. If you look at the rings around it, that's for a small amount of flexibility as well. Should it need it. I've actually bought the correct NEMA 17 motor mounting bracket as well, so hopefully I can assemble that without needing it to flex too much. Bags of bits. Brilliant. No screws. But there we can see the holes match up, which is good. So I'm making a 3D, sorry, a three axis CNC machine based on 3D printer parts. Really, it'll be a miniature CNC engraver to give it its proper name, but I'm just going to call it a free axis CNC machine because my main interest actually is writing the code and controlling it from the Raspberry Pi, which is what uh, everybody loves, hopefully, otherwise you wouldn't be working with them. There we have it. Next, I need to start putting it together, but without screws 
nuts and bolts I can't so just admire it really there we go motor presented up towards the, the shaft. 